In this video I will show you how you can quickly and really easily switch from 2D drawings to 3D models right here you can see so we're gonna make two examples we're gonna see how we can import CAD references or image references to develop our 3D here in SketchUp and I think that SketchUp is one of the best applications because it's pretty quick and it's simple to create architectural models so these are examples of house plan images and when you have an image it's a little bit more difficult and it's all about the quality of the image so if you have uh, like a sketch that's gonna be more difficult with a CAD file it's gonna be easier and also if you have an image printed from a CAD file it's gonna be easier as well because it will be more precise and uh, it's different from a sketch. So I prepared here a couple of examples, but we are going to start from the beginning. So I will create a new document. Okay. And well, I don't need this right now. So I will delete it. So basically, you if you don't want to use references, you can just start to design as we did uh, previously. You can just start here, create your first surface, then use the offset tool and create the thickness of the wall and then you're gonna extrude and you can see that it's pretty again pretty fast pretty easy to design like this in uh, SketchUp well if you want to create doors and windows or openings you can just select the rectangle so I will create a door here you can use the measurements but right now I'm just gonna improvise and of course you can give the correct size for the height and the width now uh, if I click here and I I can do many things basically I can extrude this so let's extrude it okay and I want to extrude it to the other face here but now I will move this face and I want to place this exactly on that surface. This is one technique to create holes. So if I select now this and delete it, there you go. I have something which looks like a hole. And if I go back, also another option is to delete this face first. You can see here the inside of the model. And then let's select this and copy this. So move and control and click on this vertices and move this here okay now you can see it's empty inside so you have two options you either place uh, a door model here a door component to fill the empty spaces or you just if you want to leave the opening like that you click with the lines tool here and create the rest of the lines that will fill the empty holes there and there you go so you can this is the opening here and you can do this with all the rest of your building okay now this is just uh, to show you how quick it is to start from scratch as well but if you don't want to start from scratch if you need to follow some guidelines if you need to follow a drawing which is already made with AutoCAD or it's an image we are going to see how to do that so first of all let's start with AutoCAD or CAD in general CAD drawings so if I say file import and I've already prepared a couple of files here now one is DWG and one is DXF let's start with the DWG and say import we also have some options here if you want to merge coplanar faces and other stuff here if you want to import materials right now we don't need materials and also preserve the drawing origin and you can also set the model units now if you already know the model units it's useful to set here the units that are incoming so most of the time when you import from AutoCAD it's gonna be in millimeters but this time we don't know so we just leave here model units and then we'll figure out this later but if you know just select the correct units already okay and let's say import 
Okay, let's close. And there it is. This is the, if you recognize it, is the actual drawing that we have been doing in the previous lessons. Okay, now I want to show you how this looks like in LibreCAD, which is an open source CAD application. And this is the one that I exported from Sketch, SketchUp. And uh, so what I want to suggest to you, if you work with layers, just don't import into SketchUp the uh, dimensions here or the text because they are going to look bad and because you don't need them. The suggestion is just export from CAD and import in SketchUp the parts that are going to be extruded in 3D. Anything else, it's uh, something more. So when you, let's see this here now. There you go. So you can see that all the dimensions have turned into strange lines. So now this is also a group you can see here in the, in the outliner. This is a group. And also it doesn't have tags anymore. It doesn't have layers, so it's just uh, a basic component or group that I need to modify now. But before modifying this, I need to understand the scale. So let's make a measure with the tape measure tool. And I will click here and click here. And well, I don't work with this type of units, so I will change them from window model info and let's change this to decimal and I will work with centimeters with zero precision and also my areas here will be in well meters and yeah something like that it's okay for now so let me recreate the measurement okay now if um, it created this dashed line if I don't want that I need to select when I'm using the tape measure, I need to press Ctrl and you can see there that little arrow is showing me if, it, if I'm going to create a, a guide or not. Now, I don't want a guide, so... Okay, so this is 100 centimeters and it's probably the correct measurement as we set this in a, another uh, video. So what I need to do here is simply clean a little bit. So I'm going to double click and I will enter the group or the component and then I will start to delete things that I don't need. For example, these lines here. So you either do this in AutoCAD by deactivating the layers that you don't need or just delete things that you don't need or you will need here to clean everything up so it's going to look a little bit, uh, well, tight and clean. Okay, 